Okay, so yeah, so number two on the list of what we're going to be telling them is that we're going to increase their net worth. Right. Okay, so we're going to increase their net worth by adding the digital twin itself. Uh, as my partner right here, Curtis, has said in the last video, he's bought and sold businesses before, and digital businesses increase in valuation faster than physical businesses. We can be kind of omnipresent online. We can create multiple locations if it's just remote. You can't really do that with physical. So by creating the digital twin, you increase the traffic, the sales, the reach that they go to, uh, more customers that they get, which in turn makes their business worth way more than it was when they just had the physical location. So if they were to one day want to sell off, you're a partner, so you get to partake in how much they sold the business off for. But also, they'll be able to sell off for more than they would have if they never had a digital twin. Absolutely. Right. So um, increase in value of the company. I think, so the, we, I think you, you covered that one, but just, just as a just as a note, the increase in value comes obviously with the digital twin. It comes with you increase their personal network, and the personal network is increased by the increasing the value of the of, of the company itself, and, and specifically by adding that digital twin. And specifically around the digital twin itself, you are actually um, you you are, you are looking at a separate entity, if you would, and you will be able to. And we talked about this in the training. You'll be able to reclassify the organization from a brick and mortar organization to a digital with a physical uh, distribution sort of like we talk about this all the time amazon versus walmart amazon is a digital company with with uh physical distribution outlets walmart is a physical company and going into e-commerce type digital uh, distribution boom you yeah. guys hit the channel on the head right there like guys the reason why, I mean, because Amazon is Walmart. Like even Jeff Bezos said, he studied Walmart's business model. He wanted to be the Walmart of the internet. So the difference, the reason why he's been able to shoot past them is because he started digitally. So he didn't have to worry about all of the uh, 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 the overhead, the um, you know, um, uh, inventory, inventory, and all of that stuff that he he deployed complete leverage, and that's what we teach you in the agency department. So yes, you're going to be able to increase the value of the company, guys, uh, because you're starting digitally. They're right. already at one location. If you ask any business owner right now, yo, when do you plan on opening a new location? They're going to say, mm, I haven't really thought about it because it's a headache for them to do right. it because they got to like first get financing to go in and, and build a new location. Then they got to start a new location. Then they got to uh, uh, get inventory and stock and all that to the new location depending on the type of business it is. Would you like to be in San Diego too? How about San Francisco? And we can just start building the digital versions in the online in all of these different areas. And get a good contract as opposed to get a facility and then send the, uh, the, the money to the partner that only has the one physical location back in their town. But now they're worth more. If you look at their assets, it looks like they're San Francisco, San Diego, blah, 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 blah. When technically, before we came around, they were just in St. Louis. So this is how the digital twin is going to definitely create an uh, 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 increase in, in the company value. Go ahead, now you got to act. Now, what about access to capital? Mm. How, do they, how does it increase their access to capital? So let me ask y'all in the comments, on a one of 10 scale, how cool would it be if you just had a loan guy for emergencies in your back pocket at all times? Somebody that you knew could get you approved for money, for loans, pay their loans, pay your bills, uh, utilities, whatever it is. How good would that feel? It would feel awesome. Let us Absolutely. know in the comments. Maybe you hate that. So we are going to be that partner for them. We have connections. And by you getting into agency to partner program today, you'll have those same connections that we have. That if those uh, those potential partners, aka clients, um, need funding, they need uh, a new location or they need new equipment, office equipment, they need help pay payroll, uh, pay off taxes, whatever it is, we're the guy for them or a gal for them watching it, right? Uh, and we get commissions whenever they get funded too. So this is another thing that's good for them, that they'll just have us whenever they need something. Like financially, right? So we we add and we're an asset to them, guys. Check this out. If you're an, uh, uh, you're, if you're a marketer and you're on agency owner, right? If you're an, you're on agency, when you prospect and they ask you your prices and stuff, they look at you as a liability. They don't look at you as an asset. They look at you as a what if this doesn't work? What am I losing if this doesn't work? They don't look at it like dog. If I if I work with this person, look how much I gain. When we let them know the 15 benefits of a digital twin, they're looking at what they're gaining versus what they were looking at before if we just reached out to them how you guys are doing. That's right. Right? So yeah. so that's Here's why them having access to us for capital, them having a guy on the inside, like with connections and everything, it changes a lot for them. You want me to say something? Yeah, I, I want to just add, you actually get access to more capital with the digital twin. Why? Because the valuation of your company increases and so the more you are worth the more your company is worth the more you can access capital you can access boom hey that was a good point you said that in like a couple sentences right <laughs> okay all right, you'll tell you. all right brand recognition i'm gonna ask you that okay increase brand recognition so so by having brand recognition is all about reach and it's all about scale <laughs>
And mm. if more people know about you through this methodologies, that the methodologies, the 10 steps that we're teaching, you're building, you're literally building armies of people out there. And then you, you multiply those armies through the partnerships that you build. And so now instead of just having a thousand clients or, or 5,000 people on the mailing list, you can multiply that by five or 10 because you are building partnerships and joint ventures as well. And you have an affiliate army and that allows you to have bigger and larger brand recognition. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Y'all, I hope y'all heard that, man. Like, mm-hmm. like you said, the affiliate army. Now, let, let me give you a visual of it. Okay, let's say your partner uh, wants the affiliate army. Of course, we're going to charge for the affiliate army. That is definitely something we're going to charge for. But let's say they want the affiliate army because you've already plugged in these other things that's like changed their business for, for life. So now they're open to other things. They're like, yo, what else you got for me? That's awesome, right? Okay, so we plug in the affiliate army, meaning a, an army of affiliates, if you wanted to flip it around, people that are, we're going to leverage their time, effort, their budgets, money, connections, and social media accounts to build the brand and sales of our partners. Now is that 200K a month starting to make sense? Is it starting to sound realistic if we build them an affiliate army, an army of commission-only salespeople that know how to actually market, right? So now, brand recognition. The root word of recognition is recognize. So to recognize that brand, how do you recognize something? You need to see it often, right? So if you have 250 plus affiliates all doing SEO in some way or another, all creating YouTube videos about this specific brand, all running Facebook ads in that specific city, the brand is going to be as noticeable as Coca-Cola within the right. Remember, see, you, what we have to remember, guys, is most companies have their ad budget. Most marketers have their ad budget. If you have an affiliate army, you have, you have all of their ad budgets. <laughs> it's plural, not singular. So maybe you can only afford 5 to $10 a day on Facebook ads. But if you add, 10, let's say, let's just say 15 people out of that army is promoting this one partner. Okay, fine. Now there's 15 people spending $20 a day on Facebook ads, TikTok, and all of that in the same city. Nobody's talking about nationally, but in that city, like imagine that, like every few ads will be, will be about that business, right? So guys, anyway, let's, 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 I don't want to move on. I, I want, I, but David, but Yasriel, what if they say they, they don't want to put up no money for no affiliate army? Ah, we got the answer. We'll start with an affiliate militia. Where is that militia? It's an asset that they already own. So we'll start mm-hmm. with a militia and we'll Wait, build. Break that down. Break no. that down. What's, what that mean? So what that means is we'll start with the asset that they already own is their customer base. And we'll put together great customer referral programs. They are now a militia. They're an affiliate militia. And then we'll build the army. Boom. Yep. So the militia will prove the concept. What concept? Exactly. That leverage will bring them no risk, extra income added. Right? No exactly. effort, extra income added. All of these, when you ask most businesses, whether it's a plastic surgeon, a dentist, or, or a realtor, ask anyone. I dare you guys, email them right now or inbox them, DM them right now and ask them, what's the best type of uh, leads? They're going to say referrals. Right. So if you know that that's the best type of lead, then increase referral traffic. How do you do that? Affiliates. The best type of affiliates, like you said, Curtis, are ones that's already tried the product or service before. Customers. Right. Exactly. They're the best affiliates. So, guys, man, like, Listen, we're, we're talking about some next level stuff. Hold on, Curtis, before we move on. Okay. It is Friday, and I'm a man of my word. We said that if you could, because I'll check customer support. We got a lot of you guys since the last time uh, um, that reached out that wanted to um, become a member of Agency to Partner, right? And then a few of you guys that reached out started backing up, started to chicken out and stuff. Well, check this out. I told you guys. I told you. It was going to be 4.97 until 6 p.m. today. It's about to be 6 p.m. And it is going to five thousand dollars. So you're going to kick yourself in the butt. There's no other training out there. No, I've looked. No Iman Ghazi. No uh, 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 Joel Kaplan. No freaking Joel Osteen. I'm just playing. No, no, none of them that are showing you how to actually eliminate a lot of clients, have a few partners, while increasing how much money you profit per month, guaranteeing that you can add an extra two hundred k per month. Just by plugging in 10 monetization methods to the partners or the clients that you already have. None of them are out there. So 497 was hard for you. Well, now, like, it's 5K. So, so what it, what were you doing, man? Like, it's Friday. Some of y'all going out. I hope you feel better on Monday when you're clocking in. I hope you feel better when you're still out there prospecting. This not only took away the job situation for some of you, if you plug in agency to partner, but it's also taken away the need for you to constantly have to prospect. If you're getting $1,500 a month from a, a client, if you're getting 2 k 5 k per month, these people leave. They leave, and that's all you get, too. Even if you're getting commission, too, they can leave. That's right. Agency to partner program teaches you to plug in 10 monetization methods where you pretty much start building your own equity out of their company, where even if they were to not pay you the retainer anymore, even if you haven't talked to them in three years, if, if they're still in business, you're still making money from it. Absolutely. 
You don't need 50 clients. Oh, I just I just was watching the dang on uh, video and the dude somebody got 400 clients. I'm like, that is lunacy. I don't want 400. I'll take 400 customers. Like if it's a software or something, I mean, I ain't got to deal with them like that. But 400 clients? Yo, I would go Daffy Duck from this man, right? So I'm trying to show you guys how to get shackle yourself not thinking. When you think you think that an abundance means an abundance of money means an abundance of clients. No, 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 no. You just need streams. You need an abundance of streams. And that can come from one partner. Right. Right? So let me stop yelling. But the first, if this if it's not six o'clock yet, then you guys still have a second. But once this video is over, once this is, is done, don't nobody tell us all my bad, I just got out break all my because y'all just said when we had the other day, they wanted you. You've seen testimonials. You've seen all of that. What are you going to do? When is it going to be you that's in the testimonial? Like, I'm not in the business of convincing you. I'm in the business of teaching and, and giving you guys something that can free yourself. You got to convince your dang on self. So you can walk off and like, oh, well, that dude, this, that, this. Okay. I hope it feels, I hope it makes you feel better. But it ain't going to change what's in your account. It ain't going to change the fact that when you wake up in the morning, you got to send 200 DMs from your phone. When you could have scratched off all that and just dealt with the people that you're already dealing with and make way more money than you ever thought possible. But now, let's Excellent. move on. You're supposed to ask me number five. Uh, we, we did increase brand recognition. We talked about that, right? And number six, uh, yeah. number six is industry leadership. Okay. All right, guys. There is something uh, on the profit position in agency.com page called a market monopoly. Now, these partners aren't all going to be able to afford that. I charge literally the 200 k for one that wants it. Now, everybody don't want it all the time. That's, I know. I understand that's high, high ticket, right? But once in a while, every once in a while, when one does want one, that's 200K for me, just off of that one uh, person won the market monopoly. So a market monopoly allows them to be the industry leader in their market, meaning they dictate how much. Like if people are looking around for prices, since they're the leader, the price is based off, they set the tone, basically. They set the tone for policies in the market, in the industry. They set the tone for uh, uh, like customer support. Like people are always going to be trying to be similar to them. People are going to try to create products like them, hire like them, build their brand like them. So you're literally making them the face of the industry in their market. So that's what the industry leadership is, guys. They're, you're going to make them kind of like a local celebrity. Exactly. Okay? That's exactly right. And, and just, to, just to add to that, that is step number 10, which I won't reveal, but that is that you start the process with step number 10 in terms of them having industry uh, leadership. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, dang. But well, that pretty much goes into six then. I mean, seven. Absolutely, then. it does. Number seven was build authority locally, and it's also building authority regionally. And then, you know, if, if things really blow up for them and they do what you talked about, which is having a digital presence in different particular cities, it could blow up for them nationally as well. Oh. So as you can see, one client, just one. I mean, and if you have four clients and three of them blew up or two of them blew up, you know, that's you, you got a great opportunity. You don't need a thousand clients. And that's that's a thousand clients, dog. Y'all yeah, should run from people. You should run from these dang on videos. You see where they talking about. I got 50 clients in one week and all of that. Listen, mm -hmm. there's nothing wrong with an abundance if you're completely hands off with everything. Right. But if you're going to have some involvement, like, OK, right. there's nothing wrong with dealing with abundance of people. I'm not, I'm, I want to make that very clear. What is wrong, guys? Because I know you're like, well, so you telling me you don't want a lot of partners? That's the difference. It's, I, I love to have a lot of partners, not sexually, but I love to have a lot of partners because I benefit more. I don't want a lot of people having all of my time with minim minimal uh, like benefit to me. Like I got all these people on a thousand dollar freaking retainer, and, I, and I'm in charge of all this fulfillment and stuff. But with a partnership, guys, they they they're responsible for things too in order to make the turnout happen. You understand? Plus, we have more ways of being paid as partners. We right. have longevity. We have longevity. Like some of these partners that we're getting, we're going to have them for the rest of our lives, Lord willing, right? And, and it's not going to be like they're thinking like, oh, man, I got to pay them again next month. Ooh, I can't wait for another scandemic to happen so I can use that as an excuse to cancel. They're not, they're not thinking that with us because we're partners. We're investing and we have the best interest for them. So, guys, like I'm not saying you can't get a lot of partners. I'm saying clients, and, and what I'm talking about is the need. You don't need a lot of partners. Right. You can get partners as you want to because how we set this up is the word once you plug into their systems, which are 10 monetization methods, when you're going after companies that are already doing well, it's not really much you have to add to the game. Like I said, you're going to uh, build some digital assets, uh, increase some things that's already working well for them, and that's pretty much it. So technically, if you wanted to, you could kind of do what you're, you're doing right now and, and go and get another partner. But my point was what should liberate you, what should take the shackles off is that you don't need another client. That's right Now, this way, you're excited to get more uh, people because you don't feel like you're getting played. Dude, I've been an SEO forever. And one of the things that used to piss me off is that I had more time to build other people's brand than mine. And that I knew that they was going to be made. The more I got them ranked for keywords, the more money they was going to make. And I was still going to be stuck at whatever I agreed to. I know y'all feel that. But now when we sign somebody on as a partner, 
I want to rank them for everything. I want to run ads and do all of that stuff because anytime they get a sale, we get a sale. Any, right. Anytime they decide to sell off the company, we are written in that, right? So go ahead, Curtis. Let me, let me just add this. Agency to partner is changing the life of three entities. One, yourself. Two, the business owner. And three, the business itself. Changing up, completely changing the lie of all three of those because an entity, a business is an entity. It's it's a government entity. It has a life of its own, and it's changing the three lives of the entity. All right, let's move on. Uh, oh, let me add one to that too. Sure. Also, also by default, it's changing the lives of the customers who that that business entity serves. Now Absolutely. with more assets and more creating more assets gives them more access. For example, with a gym. Okay, right. the gym can help them when they come in. If we build an online course for that gym. Or if we build an app for that gym, that's a, that's that's a, um, an S. Those are both assets, and those are both assets that that member of the gym can then take with them and get more value from while they're going, which can change their life, helping them stay more consistent with fitness. If I just go to the gym three times a week, that leaves four other days that I can slip up. But if I got the gym's app constantly reminding me, hey, drink some more water. Hey, then you say you was going to do 15 a day, 15 minutes, a little quick hit workout. If I got an online course from the gym specifically, they're like, yo, y'all know we right around the corner. I come around. Don't make me get up out there and come around there. You need to do this 15 minute workout today. Boom. Like this gives them more personal stake in their customers' lives and making them more valuable in the community as well. So you're changing the lives of the customers as well when we create the digital twins, guys. That's right. So, but go ahead, Curtis. All right. So what about what about the marketing, multiplying their marketing department? What do you think about that? Multiply the marketing department. Well, that can be done a few ways. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, it could be completely hands off if they go ahead and get the affiliate army, right? Right. But Let's say that they already have a marketing guy. That's another thing, guy, uh, guys and gals watching. You guys are threatened. What do I mean? Okay, they tell you, when you prospect, they tell you, hey, I already got a marketing guy. And then it shits you down. Yeah. Because you only see yourself as a marketing guy or gal. But when you see yourself as a creator, first of all, and you see yourself as a partner, second of all, mm -hmm. good. I hope you have a marketing guy already. Think about this, guys. Remember, a couple videos ago, I showed you guys a couple of the monetization methods that's in there. One of them is AdSense. Another one is the fact that since we're partners, we'll have access to their email list and their SMS list. So right. why would I be mad if they already got a marketer? I'm happy that you got some other dude driving you crazy traffic already. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, because now you're sending me more money. You're sending me more AdSense money. You're sending me more emails and stuff that I can retarget and sell to and email blasts and SMS blasts. Like, dog. I don't, we don't have, when you are a partner, you don't have any competition from marketers because they are a different species. You're a partner that knows how to market. They're a marketer that, that's it. That's all they got. One trick pony. So we're yeah, teaching right. you guys to be valuable, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. All right. All right. So, uh, you wanted to add on to that? Nope. You, that was perfect. Okay. So increase efficiency. Go ahead with that one. So what we mean by increased efficiency is as you are coming into the business, um, there are some things that's in the physical business that you will help with because you'll map out, you'll almost process map out their their uh, processes. And so you will be able to help them also increase the efficiency of their business. You use the R's that, that will help them in their physical business as well. Boom. So you're going to locate, identify and eliminate bottlenecks. Yep. Whether that is through their marketing whether that's through their like actual sales process, whether that's through their onboarding, whether that's through their brand that might be throwing some people off, or whether that's through, did I already say uh, hiring? Maybe, I don't know. Let's, let's say hiring. Yeah. Whatever it is, you're going to locate those things because we, we want things to have a good, we wanted to have a flywheel. We wanted to create a flywheel for the business. We wanted to work seamlessly and sound where there's nothing stopping us. Because I know you guys hear about it. Like, I'm pretty sure you guys have bottlenecks in your agency where you're like, dog, I can't take no more clients right now. If you guys are good at getting clients, you will reach this point where you're like, okay, I can't take no more clients because I got to get fulfillment for the ones that I already got. But right. you have systems because so your fulfillment is your bottleneck. So once you figure out your fulfillment, then that's no longer your bottleneck. Then it might become something else. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to identify those bottlenecks for the, the local business. And, yep. and those bottlenecks aren't going to exist online. So we, we're going to uh, cure those for the, uh, the physical uh, portion of the business as well. That's right. Uh, uh, number nine, uh, no, number 10, excuse me, number 10. We, we move it right along. Mm -hmm. Leverage existing assets. Now that's a good one. Leverage existing assets. So that goes into a few things. So we were just talking about how they already have an email list. OK, they already have an SMS list. And, and the good thing about their email list is their local businesses. When people find you on Google, it's different. I know you guys are used to watching YouTube and some of you guys are a lot of tire kickers and BSers, BSers or you'll message somebody, but you're not really interested for real, for real. You just do a lot of dumb stuff for some 
a reason I can't explain. But exclusively, <laughs> no, I'm dead serious. Like some people will be like, yo, send me an invoice. We'll send the invoice and they'll disappear. Okay. Right. So, but offline with an actual business, people don't come in there unless they're trying to buy something. Um, mm -hmm. You go to a dental clinic, you're not saying I'm just looking around. <laughs> um, let me see your testimonials and then I'll get my teeth clean. <laughs> it's not like that offline, right? right. Like the real right. businesses, like they get customers, even if they only get five customers a day, people that walk in more times than not actually become, because I mean, Curtis, you have physical businesses offline. Like how often do people walk in there and just be BSing? Don't they usually come in for like a real serious they, reason? They have intent. They have intent to buy. That's right. so, yeah, so that's the thing. It's about buyer's intent. Online, people are strolling. They're, they're distracted and you might catch mm -hmm. their eye. But offline, people got to get dressed. Y'all got to understand that. You know how lazy people are now? They literally got to get dressed to go to a place. They're not going to that place just to be like, yeah, man, I was just seeing if this was real. <laughs> That's what some people, they'll be texting our customer support number because they thought we weren't going to like respond. Right. Exactly. Oh, man, this is real. I'm like, what? Right. So the good thing about it, guys, you never generate resistant assets. You got real customer data that you can use for retargeting and selling off other stuff. Like, You'll be able to sell other things, right? Related uh, to the service that they came in for. Uh, you'll be able to leverage uh, their little black book. <laughs> and that right, Curtis? You'll be able to leverage their little black book. The network All right. already have. They already, already have in. other business owners, other business yep. owners that you can then get as partners. When those other business owners see how you're changing their business, and they're gonna they're gonna ask a question. They're gonna ask. Right. I mean, yo, I saw you when you just had this going. You only had five or six delivery vehicles. Now you got twelve. Like, what happened in the past month? What's and you're going to be the answer. You're going to be the answer to all of that. Yo, That's absolutely right. You got more. You have more beds in your in your in your clinic uh, or your, in your massage therapy place. How was you able to get all them beds? And then there, you're going to be the answer to that. Like you're going to be the answer. So anytime anybody from their network asks how they're doing good, you're going to be the answer automatically. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Those existing assets. Right. Okay. Number eleven. Insulate income against economic downturn. How how can a digital twin insulate their income so if you think about it uh economic downturn and catastrophic uh events what happened with the, uh, what who, who prospered during the pandemic online exactly online and you got 16 million new subscribers during that time Absolutely. And it, it's not, it, it, and I'm, I'm not saying, and I'm not obviously predicting some catastrophic event. We are already in an economic downturn, but what this does is it balances out your company. It balances out your, the risk. It mitigates the risk. It's very similar to when McDonnell Douglas and Boeing merged. With Boeing, there are commercial aircraft and they were going up and down. The stock goes up and down based on the whims of the commercial aircraft business. When they added McDonnell Douglas into it, which was in Long Beach, you know, stationed in, basically stationed in Long Beach in St. Louis, um, what they did was they were able to basically balance out and now their stock basically in, in essence it stays sta stable and and what you get there is with a digital twin you get not only the opportunity for stability and mitigating the risk but you also get that upside which is i turned my company from a brick and mortar physical to a digital with the brick and mortar uh distribution center boom boom listen y'all y'all see curtis right like this dude has a wealth of not just knowledge but experience He's a real deal. Like me, I don't have any experience running an offline business. Like even when I own limo service champs, like I didn't have any limos. Like I grew it exponentially and was able to get rid of it for something nice because of how fast it grew. But I never had overhead offline. He got all that experience. Meaning you'll be able to like with his, with his knowledge, you'll be able to know what uh how to communicate how good this will be for the, the partners because the partners have offline businesses. Right. They're not well-versed digitally. Me, I can explain a lot of the digital stuff, but Curtis will be able to tell you things that like they'll understand about what's going on with them, like with their with their physical assets and their physical location, that side of the business, legalities and, and permits and, and different stuff that they'll need to know to scale up offline. Curtis has experience with this stuff. That's why we increase the price, not just because we're trying to be greedy or anything, guys. It's four ninety seven right now, but after six, Curtis's uh, section of the program is released. Curtis's section is the reason why we're bumping into five grand. So we're not just doing it for no reason, guys. You're going to have an expert, on, an online expert of building digital, building and monetizing digital assets. And then you couple that with complimentary knowledge of a person that's bought and sold offline assets. And Steve Hale, right now, he's at one of his shops right now. This is a real business owner, guys, not just some YouTube bull crap. So that's why you you guys understand like that's why you're going to be fully equipped. None of them marketers that you're watching are fully equipped to be able to give you what we're giving you.
So this is not us saying we're better than them. This is us saying we're something different. And if you've been doing the same thing they've been doing and been having trouble, maybe it's smart to do something different this time, right? right. So absolutely, it's time to really move on. By the end of this video, that price will not be 497 anymore. So if you see a number or something to text, why is 497? Because I know the time, right? Like I'm looking at the time. If you guys don't get in there, this is not scarcity tactics. This is me trying to help you just in case you're on a budget. Right? Just in case you're on a budget. If 497, I mean, the 497 is going to change at 6 o'clock. You can say, oh, I don't care. But that's cool. Three months from now, it's going to be an emergence of new people on YouTube showing their results. They are, this is me prophesying. They're going to be from the agency to partner program. The people that got in maybe at 497, maybe the people that got in at 5K. But there's going to be a new emergence of people on there, and they're going to be prospering and more profitable than most of these agency owner programs out here through plugging in the 10 monetization methods that we teach. And you're going to say, dang, why didn't I get in when it was just 497? Financial situations don't get better on their own. They get worse on their own. No matter how much money, money you make this month, guess what's going to circle back around? Your bills. Right. So you say, oh, man, man, why not get in next month? Why not get in when the taxes come? Why not get in? Things are only going to get worse. This is not me being a fair monger. I'm telling you from experience. When I just sit there and, and think and use hope, hope.com, things just get worse. It piles on and gets worse. If you want to, like, there is no cash in without action, okay? That's just the easiest way for me to say it. So I just wanted to warn y'all one more time, but we'll get back to the value of this because this is a value session. not supposed to be just about the pitch, but you guys literally have, I think, less than an hour to go before that price on that site turns to five freaking K, guys. So if you have I, seven right now, text that customer support number because soon we're going to say, nope. All right, go ahead. You about to say something? I, I, I do want to add just one thing, and, and which is just as valuable as success. It is the times that you had difficulty and I won't call it failure. I'll just call it the fact that, you know, things didn't go the way you expected. And those were great lessons for me. I've had a lot of those lessons. And so you get the benefit of not only here's what we do to be successful, but here's what we do to do so you don't run down that way. Exactly. Exactly. So that's why, that's why I said, like, yes, oh, 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 oh. you can see things from all different sides, right? You know, that's what I said. Hey, man, you gotta expand your business. Uh, you, you get the the uh, opportunity to expand your business through uh, mergers and acquisitions, with, with having access to capital, et cetera. Talk about it, being able to expand your business. Okay, so one of the things that I didn't, I wasn't going to make public, but this is one of the things that we do in the market monopoly for a company. So write this down. Don't say we ain't never gave y'all nothing for free. All right. The whole, no, you know, a lot of people, you know, just pitch all the time. I'm more, I'm more pitchy on this session because it's, it's literally about to be a price change, and I, I'm trying to, like, help the people that don't have a lot of money. A lot of y'all watching looking like, well, fine, okay, I can still do that. Okay, cool for you. But for the other people, I'm trying to get them off whatever fence they're on. Uh, home improvement guy. Remember the dude from uh, home improvement? He's always right. be on the fence. Right. <laughs> Bars. Okay. But anyway, um, um, okay. Expand your business, mergers and acquisitions. One of the things that we do in the market monopoly, we want to dominate the entire market. Online and off. Offline, we don't just uh, have the physical location, but we start creating little hubs. Have you guys ever heard of ghost kitchens? Have you ever heard of ghost kitchens? Absolutely. That's just an example. So that would allow us to increase productivity. If if a restaurant only has that physical location, and, but they want to grow, uh, uh, you know, um, revenue. Or, or, or income or whatever, but they, they can't afford to open a new location or they want to do it fast and see, like they want to test out if they'll be able to keep up with everything. We'll do that. Like we'll uh, open these little ghost kitchen type stuff for, for that specific restaurant. It doesn't have to have the brand. We'll just put people in place there and, we, and we'll increase the amount of offers. I mean, not offers, the amount of offer orders that come in and boom. All right. So that's one of the things that we'll do. And what we'll do is we'll find companies that are similar that are nearing an exit, not an exit, but an exit sometimes, or like just being shut down or closed, and we'll purchase those like super cheap, penny on the dollar type situation and add that under the umbrella of that current uh, business owner that we're dealing with. Now, that's the offline. Online, I'll give you one. We'll buy everything. And what I mean by that is we'll take a little bit of money, we'll go on Facebook, and we'll buy all the local groups. I don't care if it's a fashion group. Those are still local people. So we'll buy all of the local groups. When you become the owner of the group, you can post whatever you want, right? Right. Your brand, now you own all of those audiences to put your offer into. Whenever you have a lunch special, oh, I need people to know the lunch special of the day. You'll be able to take 10, 15 dang old groups that you own. You own traffic. And you'll be able to post, this is today's lunch special. It's 15 minutes until lunchtime. Go on break and come down here and we'll give you a free drink. You'll be able to post that in 15 different groups. This is why we used to run something called, for real it's called an open house concert. And you know how the fear is that you'll do a, uh, an open house if you're a realtor and nobody shows up. You got your little cookies and platters out there and you got a little stupid music playing in the background. You already paid for the home stage and people to make it look good and smell good and all of that. And maybe two or three show, show up and some of them only show up so they can eat the free stuff. Well, we wanted it to be where it was guaranteed if a realtor ran an open house, 
a buyer would show up out of that. So we literally wanted to be where a line was wrapped around the corner. So we started running these open houses. And we did that, of course, with Ringless Voicemail Blast. We did that with Radius Targeting Facebook ads. We did that with, uh, um, uh, what do you call it, geo marketing. We had these, these little devices and stuff where if you came within a certain radius of the device, like we'll sit them on corners. The same place as y'all put the banded signs talking about an open house this way, we'll have these little these little devices buried in different places where people can move them. And when people are driving, as soon as they'll get to a stop sign or a red light, a notification will pop up on their phone and say, turn left. You're almost at the open house. So then we also bought the groups, the, the groups that these realtors already be posting in, and all that stuff. We'll buy these local groups. So we would, when they had it, whenever they had another house coming up, we would start warming up all of these groups that we owned and our devices and everything, all of these methods we were just telling you, and we'll tap the street to be blocked off. You'll think a celebrity is there. Right. This is the type of stuff y'all are going to know. Like, but this even isn't even a marketing course. But as you go, like, if you went to the um, agency to partner, um, site right now or after this or whatever, guys, you're going to see one of the bonuses. But one of the bonuses is we include all of our marketing courses for free. Why? Because this is not a marketing course. This is the, this is a membership. So when you get an agency partner, the whole goal is to show you how to convert your clients into partners. If you don't know how to market or whatever, that's what that's why we're giving you all the free all the, uh, marketing courses for free. If y'all thought that was cool, go inside the other marketing courses. So just the fact that we're giving you all of them, Asset Empire, Money Highways, Ranking Bank, SEO course, local e-commerce, uh, um, uh, seven days to 700, um, affiliate marketing survival kit, all of those you're going to have. If, you, if, you don't, if you're not that good at getting, fulfilled or getting results or whatever, you're going to be an elite marketer, right? But the whole goal is for you to now redirect all that skill to partners and yourself. Okay. That's right. That's right. I just ran off the, the handle. So now that was expand your business version and acquisitions. What about 13. We got 13 borderless consumers yeah. so so being having digital we we've, we've talked about this and we've actually touched on it um but let's just dive right in really quickly being being digital you, you you're no longer cons, uh, constricted to the particular city you're no longer constricted to that particular state you're no longer even really restricted to the country quite honestly you are borderless and that's I, I think that's a very important point and it increases the value of uh of the company exactly now i pray that you guys or, or taking something away from this. You understand? Like, even if you guys make, I don't want to say making a mistake because God works how he works, but I also don't want to blame it on God if you don't make a move, right? Um, but even if you guys don't get into an agency to partner uh, program, this has been extremely, like, like, yo, we've been giving you guys a lot with this that we usually charge crazy amounts of money for. We did this so we can build up trust with you guys. And we did this so that you can build up faith that with our tutelage or our leadership, you'll be able to actually do this. Go from an agency to a partner, you understand, and make more money than you ever thought possible. That's why we're doing this, guys. I just don't want you to regret looking at the suggested section over there right now with a new Mr. Beast upload, going over there and, and right? You understand what I'm saying? So we're more. Uh, All right. Yeah, but he said borderless consumers expand your reach. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. dog, like, what about people that want to go international? What if the businesses that you're dealing with has good distribution already, but they don't really know what to do, like, if it's a market outside the country for what they have? Dog. Start digitally first. I always tell people, if you if you don't want to waste money, like setting up shop or whatever, like I can make any, like if I wanted to open a physical business, I can make any business successful. Why? Because right. I'll test it online first. If it works online, then it's just a matter of the building blocks now. And guess what? I'll be able to get funding easy, even with bad credit, because I have proof. Like, yo, I built this. I built these assets. I Inside the CRM contains customers that will pay me if they can come inside my location. Like most of the time, back in the day when people tried to go get business loans from the bank, they would take a business plan and they'll try to explain right. to the, the, the loan officer or whatever it is, how it's going to work, how it would work in the business. I mean, the loan officer would say, well, that sounds good, meaning inferior. But if you go in there with customers already, then like how can they really turn that away when they know they're going to get their money back? So if we were to, you guys are going to have full knowledge to where even if you wanted to start your own offline business, you'll know how to guarantee that it will be successful. A lot of people are playing, playing freaking, uh, 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 they're gambling, playing craps and doing all this extra stuff when they create a business. Start digitally first. All right, let's move on. Um, so change in demographics. That's for you. So, yeah. So that one, that one is, so in our, in our offline business, um, one of our offline businesses, when we started doing a lot of stuff online, we started getting a totally different customer set and a mm -hmm. totally different demographic such that we are no longer just a, um, our, our fulfillment isn't just to a particular race, 
specific uh, uh, demographic as it turns to age and specific demographic as it turns to sex. Um, it is, you know, it, it goes across the board. And that's what happens when you're able to expand your your reach. Your, you go beyond the, the, the neighborhood, if you would, and you go and you, you are, you know, literally international. And so that's what we mean by changing your, your demographics. And that's hugely important. For sure. Uh, i give another example. Right now, like, there's a lot of people that don't even freaking know what a pawn shop is. This new generation of people, they don't really leave a house for real, for real, right? Mm -hmm. So, like, you'll have a few youngsters, but majority, from what I've seen, you you actually own it, so I'm not trying to tell you, but uh, from what I've seen, like, certain shops and stuff, it, it's mostly either middle-aged to, to seniors that come into shops now, right? right? But guess what? Now, online, with ads and stuff, you can run ads for jewelry and guns online, and guess who's going to see that? The young people. Right? right. So now you have offline the uh, the more seasoned and mature people that know from back in the day and all of that up to now. Right. And then now you got the younger demographic like, yo, man, look at that chain right there. That, that's awesome right there. You know, right. so exactly. yeah, let's just throw that in. Uh, Absolutely. That goes for all types of businesses. Y'all like like you said, like online is going to be people online. Like a lot of older people don't even like the, uh, the Internet. They don't even like like Internet devices or any of that type mm -hmm. of stuff. So the offline is good for them. Right. But then you got other people that don't want to go nowhere. So the online is good for them. So if you have both. Then, like, you're powerful. You're powerful. So, right. you asked me 15, I guess. Number 15, I'm making money while you sleep. And I have a specific example, too, about that after you finish that. But making money while you sleep. All right. Now, this is why a lot of you guys are here. Matter of fact, let's be honest. Let's stop the bull. Let's stop the cap. <laughs> Everybody is here for this reason. You're an entrepreneur for this reason because you don't want to only make money when you clock in. So how come you're doing it at home? We only make money when we're sitting there on a computer prospecting and doing all of this stuff, right? Okay, well, check this out. When you take the, the partner uh, uh, course, not like digital course, when, I, when you take the partner path, right, versus the client path, like you make way more money while you sleep because you become, uh, what do you call it, woven in to every facet of their company. So when a, com when, when a customer comes into their physical location and purchases, you get a percentage of that. When a person goes to their website and purchases, even if it's three in the morning, you get a percentage of that. Since you're gonna be building digital copies of whatever they have offline and adding, because don't forget, Curtis, we got the 10th monetization, which is interviewing them, and then right. create the ebook from the interview, the audio book from the interview, and the course from the interview. That's those right. are all ways that you're going to be leveraging their ad budgets and their affiliates' ad budgets to run traffic to those digital assets while you sleep and you split it with them 50 50 or 70 30 or whatever you guys agree on. So, listen, you guys are going to be blessed from Curtis and me with things that you never even thought about. Like, just what I just said right there, like, and Curtis, when he came to me, I was like, yo, because I was already doing this partnership stuff, but I didn't look at it like how he was talking about. That's why you need his side of things, right? Because you can you can sell the digital twin. That's right. You're going to be like, I don't think y'all get this. Right? Like, okay, let's bring it down some, right? You are going to convert the client into a partner or acquire a partner. This is why I say, whatever you need to do, I don't care if you start doing it for free. I don't care. Don't listen to what these other marketers are talking about. Do whatever you can to get a partner. Plug in the 10 monetization methods. Leverage the traffic and sales that they're already getting. Leverage the marketers that they're already working with, the customer reviews that they already got, the network that they already have. Use the budget that they do have, even if they only got 500 bucks a month or whatever to start helping out. Build, use that to build a digital twin with. Soon, the digital twin will increase in value pretty much almost more than the physical. Right. And guess what? You, you, can, you can sell off your portion of that. Even if they don't want to, there's you some can, masterful Shark Tank stuff right there. Like, <laughs> you can sell that portion Curtis, to them. Curtis, yo, when Curtis came to me and was like, "Yo, what you doing right there? Did you know that you can package that and and sell it?" I'm like, "What do you mean?" And he was like, "Dog, like that's like a, a twin copy of the physical business. That's what you're pretty much doing." I'm like, "Yes," but I still ain't get it. And he was like, "Then that's when he ran down about how the va the valuations are calculated in the companies and all of that stuff, and how fast the digital uh, versions of it increases in values and places that you you can go and sell it off and all of that." And I'm like, "What the? You know, how did I think of that before? Like, this is why Curtis is extremely valuable, y'all. Right. Y'all ain't never really seen me bring too many people on this channel. It's usually just me." Now, definitely, you never really seen me like actually collaborate with somebody on like a, a training or something like that. But I knew that y'all was going to like be appreciative of this right here. Like even 5K is cheap for, for this. Like go and try to get what was what's her name? Cody Sanchez's uh, business buying course or Ryan. Uh, what's the other dude? Ryan Mor Mor Morgan. Um, like any of them other business courses that's like uh, that teaches you, teaches you how to buy a business. Right. And, and they charge like 10,000, 15 or even $50,000 for these courses and masterminds. We're showing you how to build equity from a company that you never put money into, right. <laughs> that you can sell off. So that's worth way more than anything, any of that 5K, 10K or whatever, guys. So anyway, you want to say something, Curtis? 
I, I just want to say, so we're working with uh, some uh, lounge owners, and and one of the things is that they open at you know eleven or ten o'clock in the morning, and they close at maybe two o'clock in the morning or or twelve o'clock, whatever it is. Uh, one of my most favorite uh, cigar lounges closes at ten o'clock every day. They don't make any money at eleven o'clock. None. They don't make any money at eleven o'clock. But now they're going to start making money at twelve o'clock. One o'clock, two o'clock, when they're closed on Tuesdays and Mondays and Tuesdays, <laughs> they'll make money seven days a week around the clock. And that's the point. That is that's really the, the point. point. Okay, man, yo, he just simplified. At the beginning, one of the rapid fire questions was, what do you tell a company in order to get them to agree to help you build a digital twin? Well, he just said right there, that's pretty much all you need. You can ask him, what days are you off? I mean, what days are you guys closed? They say, okay, we're closed Tuesday and we're closed. Okay, you're closed Tuesday and you're closed Sunday. That's fine. Okay, all right. What hours are you closed from? Well, we're open nine to nine. So how much money are you making on Tuesday and Sunday? Uh, nothing. How much right. money are you making between nine, I mean, after 9 p.m., uh, in between uh, 9 p.m. and 9 a.m.? Zero. That's why. That is why they want us to build a digital twin. Because on Tuesday and on Sunday, you'll be making money. And after 9 p.m. and before 9 a.m., you'll still be making money. Absolutely. Like, dog, like just that right there. If you, if you want to know what to tell them, guys, just ask them, yo, what are your hours of operation? Okay, when you're closed, that's when you're going to make the most money. They'll be like, huh? <laughs> Tell me who's told you to do a pitch like that. Who's put a pitch like that in a DM before? Nobody ever. Like, I haven't even put a pitch like that in a DM. On the days that you're closed and the hours that you're not open, you're going to make more money than when you're active. Like, what? That's going to make me at least want to hear what you got. Like, you hear me? Like, how, right? So, anyway, go ahead, Curtis. Close it out for us. Well, so, in, in closing, you know, I'll, I'll let you uh, finish it up, but I, I think that there's no such thing as mistakes. There's only adjustments as you go along. And and, and so I, I do think that the adjustment that needs to be made here, if you want to build your wealth and you really, really are sincere, sincere about it and diligent about it and work just a little bit, just a little bit, because this doesn't require a ton of work, but it's so leveraged that it gets you a ton of money. And and again, if you have a client, that's that's just, you're, you're halfway there. All you're doing is you're just plugging in a light switch such that, or, or plugging in the, in the plug such that you just the, the light bulb comes on. It's just automatic. The electricity is already flowing. The current is already flowing. And so if you, and if you don't have a client, you get all these resources that allows you to uh, not only go get a client, because we will teach you that, but also what to do with them in some of the methodologies that we are teaching. So I, I, I think this is genius. I honestly do think it is um, something that will change the lives of, as you said, four entities, the customer, yourself, the the the, uh, the partner and the entity itself, the business. So I, I hope you guys make the right decision. Hey, you heard it before. You can lead a horse. I'm not trying to call y'all horses. Okay, but y'all heard it before. Like, guys, for some of y'all watching this right now, I, I just want to say I'm grateful that y'all watched because that's probably as much as we're gonna be able to do with you. All right. Uh, right. For the rest of you guys, I want to congratulate you for actually making moves because you're literally one move away from being inside the agency to partner program and being taught something that's not in any other agency program because agencies aren't teaching you to become a partner. They're teaching you to become a slave. Exactly. Just being real with you. You want to break out the matrix. You thought you was already out, but you're not. If you get clients, you're not out the matrix. You have to convert them to partners in order to become free. Once we plug these 10 monetization methods into them, guys, it's going to take on a life of its own. The marketing will increase. All right. Without us having to deal with them and our network and their network will increase. Right. Well, if you don't want them to sell the profit, when back is the moment, you don't stay there with them all year round and talk to them every freaking day. And they begin to pacify them. He goes, buys the company, helps him set, uh, you know, the new policies, and then he goes and goes to the next one. And he can get profits every year from the earnings of that company. And if they were to sell that company, he would be, that's why he's worth beings. And we're teaching you how to do that without having to drop a job that he'd be dropping. Imagine owning the local, being part owner of some of the local businesses in your area that you grew up using, but you don't have to put any money into it. And right. you have a skill set that can help them now. All right? So, yeah. Like I said, we're not going to beg anybody. We're all grown-ups on here. Yeah. Oh, I'm not going to tell you a million uh, promises and guarantees. I'm past that point. Like like I said, I've been doing this since 2015. If you guys want to go on the channel and search out testimonials, go do that. But guess what's going to happen at the end of those testimonials? You're still going to be left with a dang old decision that you got to make on your own. There's nothing we can do to make you confident. That's something in you. Oh, well, I saw... Because like, you're asking for the testimonials, I'll give you one. Then you ask me for another one, I'll give you another one. And then you'll say, well, okay, it worked for them. How do I know it'll work for me? I, I, does the business model work? Well, it makes sense. Well, that's all you, you got. It's something called faith in the Bible. You need to have some of that in your life then. Absolutely. Because there's nothing we can do. I'm not going to baby pacify you and, and, and pat you on the back until you burp before it. You understand? You have to gird your loins, become men and women 
if you are tired of any type of struggles that you're having financially or whatever, or even if you're doing good with money, if you want to level up without the pressures and the struggles of leveling up, this is a way to plug in just 10 simple monetizations. If the people that don't agree, then you move to a different partner, right? You just plug in the 10 monetization methods, guys. Let's plug them in. All right. Okay. Man, so that was awesome. Yeah. What did y'all think about the rap? Was that fun? I think it was absolutely great. And I hope the comments reflect uh, how much value they got out of this, for sure. Yeah, that, that'd be awesome. You know, one thing, uh, we're, we're about to ride out. I'm going to say this. One thing that I noticed is a reoccurring uh, uh, situation. When we'll get messaged by people, I notice that they'll say, a lot of them will say, yo, I've been following you for months. And I and this, listen, guys, it's, it's, I'm still the same dude. You understand? The reason why I'm saying this is because why you been following me for months? You know how much game I didn't gave out on here in, in, over time? Why did, why did, how do you know me for months and you, you didn't do anything? That's right. Like, I'm sad. I'm not mad. I'm sad that you found me because you were in a bad position. And then you let that bad position go on all the way to the point of you finding me again. Why? Why Why did you not do something when you found me the first time? Like, that'd be my regret. Like, when I see something that's awesome and then I see it again, I'll be, I'll be mad at my, I'm like, dang, why didn't, like, dog, look how good this is. Why didn't I do this back then? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want that to be y'all because it's about to be 5K at 6 p.m. Yeah, but that's not even the biggest regret you might have. One of the biggest regrets you're going to have is once you got these 10, 20, 30, because I believe you guys, you're going to get your clients. You're going to keep watching your YouTube videos until you get your clients. But then they're going to make you go crazy to the point where you're going to want a freaking job. So that's my regret. And then you're going to circle back around and then you might not be able to afford it. Right. So 5K, because it's not going to stay 5K. I'm going to keep putting the fire on y'all. Once you start seeing other people winning with this, you're going to circle back around and it's probably going to be 10. That's going to be your, your, your fire from waiting and letting something that you know you should do linger while time goes and, and, and you just bull crap it. Let me watch some more videos before I do. I, I want to do this. I'm interested, but just let me watch a few more. It's not a amount of videos that you're going to be able to watch. It's not. It's just no certain amount that's going to get you to want to do something. It's just not. Right. So you just got to do it, guys. Curtis didn't get where he is today by watching an, uh, an astronomical amount of videos until he felt good. Did you watch an astronomical amount of videos of lose your virginity? No. That, it was the first time you did that. Was probably was nervous for some of y'all. It was the first time for everything. Yeah, exactly. But when it comes to money or business, people are afraid to make moves. But you'll go and drop 5K on a, on a car that could break down when you pull off the lot. And they're going to say, no taxi backsies. <laughs> right? You still better pay me next month, even though you got to pay for the repairs. Right? You'll do that without a second thought. But we ain't going to go out to that stuff. I don't care if it's just one of y'all that gets in uh, a a after the 5K. We're not looking for a crazy amount of students. We're looking for agency owners that we can change, help them change their situations to be partners. Right. With so if y'all are watching this right now, man, I ain't paying that. Then, okay, okay, good for you. I'm not talking to y'all. I'm talking for those of you who are men and women that make moves. Okay, there is no cash in without action. All right, let me go ahead and get out the game.